What's up guys, Reggie B Photo here, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to convert your XT3 files into DGN files using Iridian X Transformer. That way, you can finally import and edit your photos on Lightroom. So the XT3 has been out for about a week now, and if you're watching this video, you're probably aware that Lightroom currently doesn't have raw support for the X-T3's native RAF file. And while I love Fuji's color science and JPEG simulations for my wedding and portrait work, I need that extra bit of flexibility and quality that only a raw file can give. And on top of that, Adobe can take sometimes from four to six weeks to even up to 90 days to provide raw support for a brand new camera. 90 days! I can't wait that long! So considering my editing workflow and my delivery deadlines, I had to figure out another way. And that's where Iridian X Transformer comes in. For those of you who aren't already familiar with it, Iridian X Transformer is a program that takes Fuji's proprietary RAF files and converts them to digital negatives, or DGNs for short. From there, you can take those DGNs and import them into Lightroom. Once converted, you can import those photos into Lightroom and edit them as you would any other type of RAW file. I've included a link in the description below where you can download a demo of X Transformer so you can follow along with the tutorial. So without further delay, let's jump on the computer and get started. All right, now that we're on the computer here, I've already got two different XT3 RAF files already preloaded up and copied to my desktop in this conversion test folder. So to start things off, I'm actually gonna pull up Lightroom and attempt to import these two files. So, got them selected. I'm gonna select import. And I'm encountered with an error message that says that these files cannot be opened by Lightroom. All right, click OK. And then we're going to minimize that and open up Iridian X Transformer. And here I'll briefly go over the settings that I got so far. So in the, under the raw options, um, I have smoother selected um, just so that I can have as little sharpening as possible and I can apply that in Lightroom itself. Um, and I have sharpening to none. And this uh, DNG baseline sharpness tag I have to default. Luminance noise reduction to none. Color noise reduction to none. DNG baseline noise tag set to Adobe default. And I have the lens correction all applied. As far as the DNG options go here, the only thing that I changed from the default settings was this. So I actually enable preserve original file date. And this is so that I can um, sync all my cameras together. And here we go to file naming. I got everything set to default. Save to folder is this original folder. So we go back and we select the images to convert. It actually just doesn't really ask you OK or anything. It just starts up once you open them. I'm processing the two images to create DNGs. There you go. We got two different DNGs here, so we're gonna go back to Lightroom, reattempt to import these files. And here they are, they show up right here. So import with your favorite import preset. There you go. XT3 files are on the computer. And you can continue to edit them pretty much as you would any other type of raw file. So I'll quickly do this one. There you go. And that is pretty much it for the Iridian X Transformer Lightroom workflow. If this video was helpful, let me know by giving it a like. And let me know in the comments below how you guys plan to implement this into your workflow. Also, let me know what you guys think about the image quality coming out of the RAW files from this camera. And if you feel like sticking around for more XT3 and photography content, then definitely consider subscribing to my channel. All right, that's it for me. 
Now get out, go shoot, and happy editing. I'll catch you guys in the next one. <laughs>